so dear students uh, uh, today uh, we will be discussing about uh, uh, introduction uh, about uh, php okay so uh, it's uh, again it's uh, related to the concept uh, web programming so uh, we have uh, many uh, types of uh, scripting languages but still a uh, php plays a very important role here so if we are uh, 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 seeing that uh, most of the uh, web-based applications uh, run with the help of uh, uh, .php uh, file extension here. So what is the reason? So why uh, uh, this, uh, this much uh, popularity uh, for PHP here? So before moving into the concept, uh, uh, first uh, we will see a small introduction about the PHP here. So PHP is nothing but pre-processing hypertext. So another thing is the very big advantage of a PHP is it's an open source uh, software here. So mainly uh, used for designing web-based applications. So that's why uh, we are calling it as a scripting language. So uh, basically this is a server-side scripting language. So what is uh, what, do you, what do you mean by uh, server-side scripting language here? So uh, if I want to run a PHP code, so we required one server. So I need to install uh, a server. So through that server, I need to communicate uh, uh, the code and uh, I will get uh, the desired output here. So that means, so I am sending the request. So based on the request, the server uh, will respond uh, properly. So where I'm going to uh, view my a program output with the help of a web browser here. So one of the uh, greatest advantage of uh, PHP is, so we can embed a uh, HTML tags inside the uh, scripting language here. So we can combine HTML and the PHP scripting code together here. So what is the use of uh, a HTML? Why, uh, why we are uh, inserting that uh, HTML tag, the information in a scripting language? So uh, we, uh, we, need, we are creating a web-based application. So it requires some presentation and formatting uh, or alignment process here. So for that, uh, we including uh, HTML tags here, okay? So it's a very easy and a very simple uh, scripting language uh, to learn here, easy to understand. So one more thing is uh, to download uh, this software, uh, we no need to pay anything because it's an open source. It's available in the net. So just uh, we need to uh, uh, go to that uh, uh, appropriate website and we have to download it. Whether uh, We have to verify whether it is a, a Windows 10 or a Windows 7 or any other operating system. So based on that uh, uh, category, we need to select it and uh, directly you can download it. Immediately we can work on with that PHP here. Uh, so for running the PHP, we require a server. Okay, this is one, a very simple uh, introduction. Okay, so moving on to the next slide. Uh, uh, this is an introduction uh, class, right? So how uh, I'm going to uh, start uh, with my PHP. So everybody will have some doubt. So uh, like uh, other scripting language, how I need to uh, start my PHP according here. So uh, first, how we will be pronouncing that PHP. It's a hypertext a preprocessor. It's widely used uh, open source. It's an open source general purpose scripting language here. So anybody can download uh, from the particular uh, uh, web page, okay, or website, and you can uh, immediately work on uh, with that here. So that is one uh, major advantages of uh, PHP here. So especially used for a uh, web development, uh, and uh, and we can embed a HTML concept in it. So that's what uh, we uh, I, I told in the previous slide. So uh, another concept, a basic introduction is uh, PHP is a server-side scripting language. PHP scripts are executed on the server. So uh, basically, a PHP will support uh, many databases. Uh, so one of the uh, popular databases is MySQL. So if I am trying to uh, create a web-based application, then I can connect uh, my uh, 
a code with the help of a MySQL because MySQL is also uh, one open source uh, software here. So that is very easy uh, to initiate the uh, data connectivity process uh, between uh, PHP and uh, MySQL here. So other than MySQL, uh, we can use Informex, uh, Oracle, Sybase, uh, or Gen Generic ODBZ, uh, etc. So basically, it's an open source. It's a free to download and use. Okay. So uh, how we can uh, run PHP here? So PHP is a, a platform um, uh, independent. It, you can run on a different platforms. Uh, for example, Windows platform, you can run Linux based platform or Unix based platform, etc. cetera. So uh, it, it, uh, PHP shows a compatibility in all uh, servers uh, used today. So especially Apache server, IIS server here. So Apache server is a, a open source and IIS is a Microsoft based server here. Then how we can differentiate here. So what type of server uh, you can uh, select to run the PHP here. So there are uh, different types of server here. BAM server, XAMPP server, LAMP server, MAMP server. Okay, so these are the categories of servers available. So if I'm uh, trying to use uh, 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 if I'm trying to run the uh, PHP in Windows uh, based operating system, then I can go with the VAMP server. So there's nothing but uh, the abbreviation is Windows, uh, Apache, uh, then MySQL and PHP here. So suppose uh, I, I no need to uh, focus on uh, what type of operating system I'm using. So irrespective of the operating system, I need to run the PHP script here. So then uh, we can go with the SAMP server here that is X A M P X stands uh, stands for uh, cross platform Apache MySQL and PHP here. So when I installed uh, when uh, we are installing this uh, server, uh, uh, we no need to bother about what type uh, operating system we are using. It will, it will support uh, Windows, Linux. Unix or other operating system here. That's why uh, it's uh, specifying that uh, cross-platform. Okay, so it's free to download from the official PHP resource here. That's what uh, I'm uh, already told here. So it is easy to learn and it runs efficiently on the server side. Okay, so now I'm talking about uh, MySQL. So if whenever I'm uh, focusing on PHP, that is nothing but uh, a front end. I'm trying to uh, do some kind of designing and how I'm going to store my uh, valuable information in the back end. So for that, MySQL database connectivity uh, plays a very important uh, process here. Okay, so this is a database server. Okay, so this is a database server. So it's ideal for both the small and the large application. So basically it supports a standard SQL. So whatever query, so that means DML, DCL and DDL queries, whatever uh, uh, we known in uh, other uh, um, uh, database management system, the same queries, uh, the same syntax, uh, uh, same statements, we can use it in MySQL. So that much user-friendly uh, uh, MySQL is it. So MySQL compiles on a number of platform. Any platform uh, we can uh, use it here. So MySQL is also a uh, free to download and use. Okay, so how to start with uh, PHP? So whenever uh, uh, we are uh, focusing on some new programming language. Uh, so for example, if, I, if you are taking uh, C, Okay, so we need to start with some header file here, hash include uh, uh, stdio.h, hash include conio.h. So likewise, uh, if I'm starting with the PHP scripting language, I require some sort of uh, a syntactic way here. So what is that? So we need to start the PHP code with the special start and end processing instruction. So angular bracket and question mark. So then followed by PHP. And this is going to be the start uh, processing. Then how I'm going to end the PHP script with the question mark angular bracket here. So that uh, shows from where I'm starting the PHP code and where I'm ending that PHP code here. So simply we can call it as PHP mode, whether I'm PHP mode is in or PHP mode is out here. It's very easy to understand here. Okay, so this is a basic introduction I want to uh, provide uh, for you people. I think this gives uh, uh, some sort of uh, basic idea about uh, PHP and how to start with the PHP and what is MySQL and uh, how we are going to uh, use it uh, server here. What are the types of servers we can use it uh, uh, for running the PHP scripting here? Okay, thank you.